Well, I'm in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers research facility here at uh, near Fairbanks in Alaska and it's a permafrost tunnel that's been dug under the ground to kind of look back in time at the way that the world has been frozen in the past and the way that permafrost continues to exist today and this um, facility is a pretty amazing place you've got pieces of animal bones sticking out of the wall animals that died 10,000 years ago you've also got really quite interesting pieces of grass you can still see the color green in these grasses there and they feel just like they're alive even though they were being turned upside down here by the forces of nature maybe 10,000 years ago as well. The whole purpose of this particular research facility is to look at permafrost, to look at how it's shaped the earth, how it's impacted the earth and what may happen in the future with permafrost in our current lifetimes. And one, one of the places, one of the, one of the aspects here you can see is you can see the, the, the color here, the dark color of the ice, the, the permanently frozen ice here. It looks like kind of a mahogany shade, a mahogany style. And just above it is a layer of sand. And the engineers understand that to be an abrupt climate change that happened many, many thousand years ago. And all through this tunnel are examples of this type of abrupt change. And it, it, it leads the engineers to understand that this is a, a, a common facility or common aspect of the earth over the last tens of thousands of years. One of the other things they've looked at here is they've taken some ice samples from this particular point here where some Japanese researchers took the samples back to their lab and they were able to reawaken the bacteria that were in the actual ice samples and that were 30,000 years old. So it's a really powerful and amazing research facility. The engineers are hoping to extend it because uh, climate change is a very, very important subject in the world at the moment. Permafrost has the capacity to release large amounts of carbon dioxide back into the system as well and so we're trying to understand and the engineers are trying to understand just how that will impact on the world. Of course one of the things that's uh, very evident here is that it's really cold but also rather smelly. It really reeks and it is because of all the vegetation that's got its roots down here into the tunnel and lots of that is dying, it's setting off carbon and it pongs like old cheese unfortunately.